hello beautiful thank you so much for clicking my video happy new year in today's video this week's show and tell is brought to you by rpg show if you are interested in this wig i will be sure to leave a website link below in my description box on where you can purchase it from and i also leave other links in there that you just might be interested in if I can get a coupon code, I will be sure to leave it in my description box too. You can also find RPG Show on social media as well. When I received the wig, the wig came neatly packaged. When you order from RPG Show, they send you some goodies in the box. I got a My First Wig Flyaway Tamer. I love this product on my flyaways. A pouch with a eyebrow scissors, spoolie, tweezers, and a razor. I also got this tape. It's like a tape that you put under the lace by the parting space so it could look more like scalp. Two wig caps. A card that's basically a thank you card and where you can find them on social media plus a slip with your order information on it okay okay don't play with them they come with a whole magazine i see a couple of youtube influencers in here which is really cool plus some products nice 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 not bad at all And they also sent a storage bag that you can store your wig in after you're done wearing it or for whenever you just wanna put it in there. Right here is a close up of the inside cap construction. It comes with a 13 by six lace frontal parting space. Behind the frontal, there are two combs with another comb in the nape area and adjustable straps. They inserted a adjustable elastic band that come with three hook settings. As for the cap material, it got some stretch to it, not too much. The lace is a soft Swiss lace and it looks like it could be HD. As for the hair texture, it is on the silky side. This is how the wig comes straight out of the package. Right here is a close up on how the hairline comes. The hairline comes pre plucked, and they also went ahead and bleached the knots. They did a really good job bleaching the knots. And as for the pre plucked hairline, not bad, not bad at all. I'm gonna leave it just like that. I'm not gonna go in and tweak it to my liking, but I am gonna go in and style this wig to my liking. So, starting from the back, working my way up, I'm just gonna go in and throw in a few curls. The curls that I'm doing with this wig is pin curls and I'm already going to let y'all know I am not one of the best pin curlers in the world. I am still working on my pin curling skills so you know practice makes perfect. I noticed when I did the pin curl some rolls I did a little thinner than others so I had a few flyaways sticking out but in the end I ain't gonna lie it didn't come out bad at all. But I'm noticing what I could do better. I need to make thicker rolls just like how I did in the back. Going towards the top, I made some thinner rolls. So I had a lot of flyaway action going on, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna get the hang of it. I'm gonna get the hang of it.
Yeah, these are the flyaways I'm talking about in the end that came out because I did some rolls thinner than others. So I'm going to keep that in mind for next time that I do some pin curls. The razor that came in the pack that RPG Show sent is the razors that I'm using to cut off the extra lace in the front. I'm just taking my time cutting right along the hairline in little zigzag motions. When cutting off the lace, be sure to take your time. Don't rush because if you cut into the hairline, it's going to cause shedding and you're going to mess up the shape of the hairline. Hey y'all, hey y'all. Now it's time for the wig install. I left the wig on my mannequin head overnight so I could do the review the next day. This is my homegirl T era. So now I'm gonna take down the pin curls and do what it do. Let's do this. The hairline on the lace of the wig was a little longer than my hairline. So I'm gonna go in and cut off some of that extra lace by the air tab. So by my ears, it can lay nice and flat onto my hairline. Next up, I'm gonna take my olive oil super hole spray and I'm gonna spray one layer of this by my ear tab up to my temple just a little bit because the lace is already looking good on my skin. There is no need for me to take this spray and spray it all over the hairline when the lace is already melted without any product. So I'm just gonna spray that part right there by the air tab so the air tab can stay down for this wig show and tell. And if I was to wear this wig outside, this is how I would wear the wig outside as well because I like how lace look on the skin when it's HD without any product. If I can get away with it, trust me, I will do it. But if I need some product so the wig don't slide back, then I'm gonna have to do what I gotta do. But yo, y'all, the results on this was bomb. And look at that. I told you, look how good it looks without me having to spray the whole hairline. And since it come with that adjustable elastic band that they inserted on the inside, it holds the wig in place so the wig fits a nice and snug on my head. And man, oh man, I don't even need no baby hairs. Ugh, yes, 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 come through RPG show. Yeah, so with the curls, all I did was a little one, two, three shake. Now I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 360. And I'm going to apply some of this powder on top of the lace by the parting space, just so the parting space can look a little bit more like scalp. I forgot to use that, that tape that RPG show got me to put underneath the lace. I totally forgot. So, you know, I just go with my powder. And right here is my end results. Ooh, so this is RPG show, long layered curtain bangs with rich honey brown ombre lace front wigs, style wigs by Sharice 026. 
The length of the wig that I have in the video is 20 inches. The cap construction is 13 by six glueless Swiss lace front wig and the hair density is 200%. In the video, we basically style the wig together from start to finish. The wig comes pretty much ready for you. All I had to do was restyle the curls, apply some makeup so the lace can match my skin, and bada boom, bada bang, I was done. As for them saying this wig is a curtain bang wig, um, the front is more like layered to me, but I guess it comes like that so you could go in and add your curtain bangs if you want. I like how it looks. I don't need any deeper curtain bangs, so I'm gonna leave it just like that. RPG Show did a great job on the coloring. Like, wow, this coloring looked like I just came out the salon. And the fact that the parting space is nice and deep, ooh! Look how real it helps the wig look because the parting space is so nice and deep. When I split the hair in the back, my tracks are just showing and you can't see my wig cap, so that's good for the people that like splitting their hair. The company also mentioned to me that they upgraded the pre-plucked hairline and did new invisible knots so the scalp can look real on the wig. And I'm not gonna lie, they did a great job. And I know this wig is... <laughs> This wig is a little break the bank, but I understand why, because they went ahead and did all the work. But you can check out their website and see that they have other affordable wigs on there if this wig is a little bit too much for your budget. When I was styling this wig, I got zero tangling. As for shedding, shedding was very low. It was really nothing for me to pick up and show you. I got like about three strands of hair love 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 it the color is so amazing y'all as for the hairline they did a great job plucking the hairline the hairline is like thick but not too thick it's still realistic looking and then look at that glueless baby on that forehead is glueless i like that i like that because it helps me take my wig off at nighttime and put it back on the next day and it's easy to apply the next day i just spray down the sides again and boom i got the cap size number two which is supposed to fit a 22.5 to a 23 inch head circumference and don't fear smaller head people they have a option on the website where you can pick size one that head circumference fits from 21.5 to 22 inch and if you have anything larger or smaller than that they have a option where they could do a customized like custom made wig for you but that would take like 40 working days after you leave your measurements so i don't know if you need it customized you have to order it way in advance or i don't know maybe you could email them and work something out with them but that's pretty much it you guys i love it super nice for every day especially with the color and hair quality if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below and i'll get back to them as soon as possible please hit the like button if this video helped you out and i'll see you guys later thank you so much for watching and be safe out there